Hey guys, Nolar here, back on the General Lar channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, what are we probably getting for 7th year anniversary. Um, so, Jin and I were talking about this, and he said, go ahead, do this one, because I have a couple ideas how we're go what's going to happen. Obviously, 6th year anniversary, a year ago, we're going to take a look at what they gave us then, and kind of give us a blueprint of what they could give us now. And so, we're going to start off right away with the countdown. Um, so, obviously... Always before the, the anniversary, there's like a seven day countdown thing. Um, you know, just a little teaser of what's going on, showing you like the login bonus to get stones, and then here it says 35 celebration summon tickets. So, obviously, if you guys remember, there were, um, of course, last year was 66 like L guaranteed LR summon ticket thing. Or oh, we're definitely going to get the 77th version of that. Um, where we're gonna get 77 tickets now i don't know that'll be across the three four weeks the part one two and three so you missions you get the the tickets and then you can guarantee that seven seven summon ticket with probably guaranteed lr maybe two and then they might do a thing where they're like guaranteed lr uh not LR, guaranteed ssr for every i don't know seven you know tickets maybe i don't know Seven is such an interesting number, especially in Dragon Ball and Japanese culture, that like they, this could be very special. Like they'll give a ton of stuff away. So you are a uh, new player, returning player, or veteran like the rest of us are. Uh, yeah, this would be the time to jump in. So, um, returning campaign, they would probably do a comeback campaign, like I said, to get people ice to get back into it. <coughs> Social media campaign. So um, there's that SNS button. Uh, you click on it, it'll probably give you a ticket for the celebration summon ticket per day. And then, of course, Dokkan events are all available, no matter what. And then the story events. Now, here's where we're going to talk about the theme, right? So, obviously, Year 6 was um, Super Saiyan Blue, Evolution Vegeta, and UI Goku. Now, what could Year 7 be? Um, I think they're going to go back to Gogeta and Vegito. Or just Gogeta, Gogeta. Like, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue, um, Gogeta. Like, just two dual Super Dokkan Fest. The other one that I'm like thinking about and hearing, you know, some good rumors and stuff like that is just Super Saiyan God Goku and uh, Beerus from the Battle, um, not Battle of Gods, uh, the, the the first uh, Dragon Ball uh, Super movie, right? Um, so they could do that and absolutely give us uh, like because we've been asking for a Dokkan Fest exclusive LR, um, not LR, but Dokkan Fest exclusive Super Saiyan God Goku. He deserves an LR. Beerus has an LR, um, but it's Beerus and Whis, so we could a straight up standalone Beerus. We've got the physical Dokkan Fest exclusive uh, SSR uh, Beerus, like that's a good one, but he's aged. I've always hated the units that need to get hit first to get their defense and attack buff up, like Super Vegeta and Beerus. I, I'm never a fan of them because they just age poorly, where if they hit the wrong, if they get hit... Um, a super before they even get the first normal off that's when they can take a ton of damage and like get you killed you know so much stuff so here if it's battle of the gods um you know be the battle of gods event plus a bunch of stuff granted back then we've had um sr ssr like exclusives to um just uh, the characters back then um we don't see them now and they could bring them back awaken them that kind of stuff so like right now we're seeing a resurgence of like the fusion units for example they came out during year one and a half like one and a half two years in the game and they're just now getting awakenings and then easy A's. so obviously we could see like the cop krillin uh, and a bunch of other like rare cards like timed exclusives that if you weren't playing back then you don't have now resurgence in like uh, some story events so battle of the gods or if they go the super saiyan 4 route for gogeta and they go um saiyan blue gogeta it could be just the movies and uh gt and then of course you know there's a uh the part two stuff but let's just break down the the this stuff so it, whatever we're getting we're probably getting a bunch of story events coming back obviously related to the theme uh this one was year six for you know terminal power of course the future saga it's a bunch of bunch of stories that comes back and stuff like this easy a's easy areas they're coming back as well shortening stam obviously a lot of like really good especially for people who like to grind links aka truly and Jin. Jin grinds pretty much uh, more than i do um and now that we have auto it's 
you know, he can be working and have his phone by his desk and just hit auto and then keep playing. You know what I mean? So this is uh, going to be the countdown. And of course, you get the special, um, you know, wallpapers or loading screens. I should say. Um, so seven, six, as they keep kind of down, they became more apparent. This is key theme. Yeah. So right now we have no no leaks or anything um, that we know of. Just us speculating. All right. So part one, obviously, the new Dokkan Fest exclusives, the LRs. Again, could be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, could be Super Saiyan Blue uh, Gogeta, uh, and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Like, that makes the most sense to me to bring back just a straight up Dokkan Fest exclusive LR Blue Gogeta, because we don't have one. We don't have a card that stands alone as Blue Gogeta from the get go. It's all transforming, right? The AGL Super Saiyan um, Gogeta going into Blue is now about. <laughs> year two years old now yeah about almost, more than two years old and then of course we have the five-year lrs which are um you know base form gogeta base form vegeto going all the way to blue uh we have a lot of standalone blue vegetos right we've got the physical one the tech one and then of course the um, the lr the free-to-play one that we grind um and of course the special movie when you log in whatever the, it's going to be login bonus um uh, mission specifically for whatever the theme is going to be they're going to do that this one's interesting team co-op campaign if what was it maybe you're teaming up with other players. oh yes yeah, so together you're you're separating into like uh groups and then you're doing as many events as possible to uh, push your group ahead and get to like the milestones right there are specific milestones milestones were this and rank one so just uh, an incentive for you to grind, especially with three minutes stam. Not to. And of course, the do dog on fest, uh, whatever the theme is going to be. It's 77, that's what we're going to get. Special summon, seventh anniversary ticket summons. So they'll have SRs, all SRs and SSRs. So lots of things you could pull there. Um, the coin exchange. So we're going to get a seventh anniversary coin exchange. Of course, we're going to get the coin exchange for all the other previous. Uh, things that were available in the 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st year anniversary. That. Um, probably a Dragonstone, Red Dragonstone, Blue Dragonstone, all the Dragonstone there. Yeah, purple ones. So, you know, you buy some packs, you get some stones. So, And, of course, sales. Seals so going to be good. SNS campaign, so it's, uh, stones daily. Uh, Kai summons, if you want. More specific story events. So, we're going to get an LR. Uh... Again, depending on the theme, whatever the theme's going to be. And I, I, the reason why I'm hammering home on Gogeta and Vegito is because it's their best sellers, right? It's the hypest thing. And I know we've had Gogeta and Vegito together since third, fifth, and that potentially seventh year. First year was straight up Super Gogeta. And so, yeah, that's going to be really interesting to see uh, what kind of uh, new L like farmable LR. That will get an EZA right off the bat, which, again, I always hate when they give you a farmable card with the designed EZA down the line, it kind of makes it obsolete down. Like, look at like uh, AGL Broly. Like, he's not usable. I say he's not usable. He's just a liability if you're going to take him on harder events now. And it's hard to even. Um, you, you can't give him an EZA because they gave one to him right off the bat. So, there's that. Probably something similar to here, <laughs> depending on like GT Heroes or um, Future or whatever category is going to be good. Um, they're going to give you orbs for that, uh, just for skill equips. And of course, a new hard challenge. This was the God event. It's been about a year now. I don't know what they're going to give us. If they're going to do anything similar to that, um, but that's going to happen. Of course, we'll get a new boss rush stage, new ESBRs, new SPR stages. And then, of course, the easy, um, easy A battles are going to be open. And of, uh, daily potential system, obvious. With the new revamp to version Z, this is going to be really good. Uh, a new a battlefield, obviously. And, um, collab summons. I forgot what this was. Oh, right. It's for, um, you know, if you manage to get the free to play. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we might get those. So that's part one. Obviously, it's going to be con heavily contingent on what the, the anniversary theme is. And again, just to reiterate either Gogeta Vegito, Blue Gogeta, Blue Vegito, or four, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, uh, Gogeta. Um, and after that, maybe Battle of the Gods, like Super Saiyan God Goku, 
plus um you know uh Eris as the other one the reason why I'm, I'm, that one makes sense is they're both uh super type um Dokkan Fest exclusives versus because the only time we've had a super and extreme for an anniversary was the first year it was super Gogeta versus Janemba right into Janemba and after that it's always been dual super units from from that for point forward I think they're going to continue with that that's why I don't I give some credence to the concept of Super Saiyan God Goku and then Beerus of course we could get the, the Rage Vegeta the str one to get a easy a he's a candidate at that point you know what I mean so yeah, um, and then part two. Let's look at part two real quick. More missions, more stories available, and of course, an EZA. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Dokkan Fest exclusive EZA. If it's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Blue Gogeta, I could see the AGL uh, Super Saiyan Gogeta getting an EZA. But he came out with Broly. So maybe Broly gets one too. But I think there's going to be at least a couple of EZAs that come out of it. Uh, if it's just Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, obviously the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is primed to get an easy A. Same with the physical Omega. And then part two LRs, um, you know, for the yellow coins. Uh, if it's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I think an LR Omega. Or since Shenron transforming into Omega, I think that's pretty pretty easy to do. Um, and then, of course, a blue Gogeta is probably a, you know, Dragon Ball Super Broly LR card see that obviously i would prefer broly getting a dokkan fest exclusive because i feel like he deserves one um but if we're talking part two that's probably it and then if we get blue vegeto as part one then part two i could see um a merge the masu uh like a corrupted merge the masu out the get-go um so there's that again new stages added to whatever challenging event new dragon ball history if the dragon ball history i could see a uh it, the only time this would be like really relevant is if it's a uh, battle of the gods, right? I can see that happening. Another team co-op event, pop legendary summon, more sales. That's part two, which is like a week and a half, week to week and a half afterwards. And then part three, they've been doing this for a couple years now. It's okay. Uh, um, this is usually where they'll awaken some of the, uh, all, um, Easy A, the, you know, whatever the free-to-play farmable cards are. So, of course, this Roshi came up and then uh, UI Goku for a while. An Easy A from an LR. Um, so many options, <laughs> right? Like, if we're talking Battle of the Gods, I could see Whis and Beerus getting one. Um, you know, I don't Maybe it's too soon for Super Saiyan God Goku. He kind of needs one, but he could get one. Uh, that's an option, too uh of course uh with the broly movie from year five uh with uh the broly trio they could i doubt it i highly doubt it so i don't know it's uh this one's kind of a wild card um because this happened in six years we didn't expect these guys to get an easy a and they did right um they're not like top top tier but they're just below that right they're top tier um of course more stages for battle of the gods and then chain battle or the chain battle Mode possible but yeah so part three not a ton of stuff either but mostly easy a's um for the farmable units and of course prize are they're gonna give us and yeah um lots of missions get all this stuff so there's gonna be a free seventh year two probably holding dragon ball seven uh as i would say and uh yeah i think overall we're looking at about uh 855 stones for that time um pretty good for the celebration right guys so overall i if i was gonna bet i would say it's a super saiyan 4 gogeta and then blue gogeta that's just how i would i would wager but i wouldn't be surprised they love the other fusions as well they love vegeto so that could sh show up but i don't and again the dark horse is uh super saiyan god goku and then beerus that's potential i, I could see that there's some validity to that statement but Overall, guys, you guys let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts of what Year 7 is going to bring? What's the new, like, hard stuff? Like, the battle of um, the God stages? Like, what are they going to do for us uh, going here forward? And then, of course, um, I have a collab video planned with uh, a certain someone. I'm guessing you guys know who that is. It's not Jen, by the way, but somebody else. 
where we're going to talk about what could the seventh year brings in terms of mechanics. Obviously, you know, we look through the history of every anniversary. They brought something new, some new mechanic every time. Right. So we're going to talk about that and, uh, you know, figure out maybe that's uh, what's going to happen for your seven. So anyways, guys, it's a little bit of a lull before the new anniversary comes out. Um, obviously, Jin and I have other uh, videos planned, but uh, you guys let us know what you want to see, what you want, if you're excited for year seven. And can you believe it's seven years for a gacha game, which is there's only been probably 10 gacha games ever that I've gotten to beyond seven year plus, right? And still surviving. Uh, Dokkan doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. So, yeah, guys, that's a whole other thing we could discuss. But uh, with that said, this is Nolar. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.